uh, it was not easy. It must not have been easy for Gliza and David dahil hinarap nilang challenges ang pandemya at saka ng long distance relationship. Hindi ko na po kayo unahan pa pero narito po ang aming exclusive interview kasama si Gliza De Castro at ang kanyang asawang David Rainey. Panoorin po natin. David, Gliza, welcome to Fast Talk with Boya Bunda. Let's start here. How important is talk in this relationship? Sobrang important since we uh, are in a long distance relationship. We're not physically together most of the time, especially during the first few months, years of our relationship. But talk about the notebook. It started po kasi David really likes to send me letters. So when we were apart, binibigyan niya ako ng handwritten letters. Masulat. Masulat talaga po siya. Okay. Why? Um, uh, have you always been into you know, writing, uh, snail mails. Not necessarily. I, I think this felt different. It was a way to express how I felt rather than the normal email, messenger, WhatsApp, to send a, a written, written letter. And it became sending, sending the notebook back and forward. So I think it went between the Philippines and yeah. Ireland maybe three or four times posted. So the notebook would travel? <laughs> yeah. yeah the and you liked it? Travel. You liked doing it that way? Certainly that was a very important part of our relationship when we were apart. Nayon, I, I wake up and we have coffee together and mm. we're, we're together all day if we're, we're not busy or we're not working. So we still write each other notes and write each other messages. Not necessarily sa notebook, pero I'll leave you... Saan na ngayon? Saan na ngayon sinusulat niyo ang inyong mga notes for each other? Nasa-surprise pa rin po ako. Like, um, kapag kapupunta ako ng taping, tapos um, siya yung maghahanda ng kape ko, tapos may oh. mga meals. And then pag... Pag ano ko, pag uh, kuha ko ng mga meals ko, merong note na, um, you can do this, um, I'm with you, love you, yung mga ganong. Whose idea was it to have two weddings? Was uh, it consensual? Did you agree about it? Yeah, Paano sure. nangyari ang dalawang kasal? Joint uh, decision. decision. Agreement. Po. Agreement. Yeah, it uh, happened during, again, the pandemic. Kasi after nga po being together for three months, that was the longest um, time na nagkasama kami sa Baler, umuwi siya ng, ng mm. Ireland and uh, hindi ko, hindi namin alam kung kailan kami magkikita ulit. So during that time, I would message um, Bureau of Immigration, <laughs> Department of Foreign Affairs. I didn't say. <laughs> and he would also message kasi nung time na yun, hindi pa po um, open yung borders ng Philippines for foreign travelers. And um, alam ko na maraming makaka-relate din na mga Filipina na may partner din na nasa abroad. Ang hirap. Love in the time of the pandemic. <laughs> yes. David, you had no idea that she is famous in the country. No. When did you know that uh, she is? She told me she's a, an actress, but I didn't I didn't think. We were going to the the lagoon, actually. There's a center there. And after, some of the staff uh, were, uh, put, put, put a picture. <laughs> and I was like, oh, uh, OK. People, people must know her. T tell me, Gliza and David, what you can, just what you can about the, the wedding. It will be a, uh, a beach wedding. Since, yeah, very significant po sa amin ang, ang dagat. Nag-meet kami sa malapit sa dagat, nag-propose sa akin sa harap ng dagat. Kinasal kami sa Ireland sa harap din ng dagat. So we wanted to continue mm. that. And my brother-in-law, who is a pastor, is officiating it. What are you wearing? I think hindi naman na secret na si Joe ang gumawa ng aking uh, bridal gown. David is also wearing Joe Rubio. Si Joe din. Pero it will be a Filipiniana type of wedding din po. So, magteterno ako. Siyempre, isa yun sa mga tradisyon ng Philippines. And parang gusto ko rin pakita yung culture natin uh, sa kanila. So, may mga, may mga lechon, ganyan. Kung paano mag-celebrate ang mga Tama. Pilipino at um, kung paano magkaroon ng, ng fiesta dito. So, there's gonna be some elements of fiesta. What's gonna happen? 
After wedding. After the wedding. <laughs> We're opening a cafe, it's a Balear. It's a similar theme to my business in Ireland. Ferros Ireland it is a mobile coffee shop. It's a Balear. Um, Tabisa Bahai. So accommodation. Are you starting a family immediately after the wedding? Um, Are you planning? Maybe not so immediately. Not immediately. Yeah. Not immediately. But soon. Glaza, tuloy-tuloy ang pag-aartista, tuloy-tuloy yes, ang pag-awit, tuloy-tuloy ang mga ginagawa mo ngayon. Yes, definitely po hindi ko yun bibitawan kasi mm. hindi naman ibig sabihin kinasal na kami at galing siya sa malayong lugar o sa ibang bansa at iba kami ng kultura ay bibitawan ko na yung mga gusto kong gawin. So I, I wanted to still do acting.